if the only group I ever participate in, one and equal to, is this human physical body, then I will be content. I will be satisfied because I am participating in a group where it takes cooperation and self-expression is allowed. That is what I'm asking for. That is what I'm seeking. I uh, don't need that from anyone else. I would be selling myself short if I said I did. If others are willing to participate me equal to me, and that we may be all equals, then I will accept that. But until that happens, you know, I am content with realizing myself and implementing myself and cleaning myself out and filling myself up and doing whatever it takes in order to maintain myself with or without another. Because the object of a group is not to maintain a group based on support. The object of a true group is to build each member up to the point of not needing the group and still maintaining the group. Um, in that I do not find destiny to be participating. It is a continuous process of always more. And that to me is the system. I will not participate in that. I do not care what it means to you or to me because I know what it means to me. And I don't have to ask myself. I don't have to search myself to figure out what is going on and why. Anyone can repeat what another says. I mean, if that's all you want, then keep up the good work. But if you want someone who can actually speak on their own, then investigate me. Because I've investigated destiny enough to know where I stand as myself compared to destiny as itself. And if the process of exclusion of you know people or information continues, it will simply be the end of you by your own doing because the end of that system is coming. There is no more debt. You know, what kind of forgiveness would I be sharing if I still held other people guilty? As far as I'm concerned. Um, and then to encourage others to feel guilty towards what someone else has done is, again, not self-honest. It would, as one who has self-forgiven self, it is only natural that I only accept and allow others who have self-forgiven themselves and not to perpetuate guilt and debt. No matter what the case. I, you know, if... Hitler were to kill every human on this earth, it would not be a point I have to face. It would be a point he has to face. And therefore, there is nothing I can hold against him or help him out with because it is up to him. So the point of looking into the future and seeing what is happening or going to happen only works if everything completely stops. Because the point of observation is the point creating the vibration that causes the pictures of the future to appear in the first place. And then once that point of observation has left, that which it was creating leaves also. And as this is you know, manifested chaos, um, the perception is useless. No. Entities have told me that certain things, you know, about the future and about the past, but I only take them into partial consideration because they are a perspective. They are not the actual point that is going to experience the future. They are not the actual point that experienced the past. Observation is a point where you receive everything except yourself.
as a whole because only in that is one able to actually observe everything else is subjective when you implement yourself into and as the observation and so when one removes when one removes oneself from the point of observation one must use it as a point of reference rather than a point of this is what's going to happen and sometimes knowing about the future makes it worse and sometimes not knowing about the future makes it worse but the future is just a theory from this perspective and so what might happen what might not happen is not as important as what is happening and if people are willing to throw away what is here for what might be then they are throwing themselves away and I will not participate in that what I actually have to say humans are not the kind of people at this moment to hear me so what do I do? I do my best to speak to them as humans as earthlings because I am an earthling at this moment and if that is unacceptable okay then you find humanity and earthlings unacceptable just accept that and move on um, going around and picking this article or that article to talk about is only doing what has already been done because even the journalists they take a headline and then they talk about it and so you are really in the employ of this particular newspaper or this particular topic um, you're not really promoting anything to solve these issues or there is no evidence of your corrective application through love your neighbor as yourself um, if you're out there building homes or giving away money or doing whatever you feel is necessary to change this world show the evidence of it but as is those who are on the destiny farm and those who are close to those who are on the destiny farm and the center of destiny group they do not show themselves at all um, and yet mr anonymous is told to be killed um, the point that really decreases destiny's credibility to me is the fact that the things that are said especially by bernard pullman seem to be his own shortcomings and that everything he says about others is really a reflection on himself and from this I gather that there is a mistake that these points you consider others not to have realized are really points you have not realized and implemented and if you cannot handle this as simply my point of view then it shows it as something more to you the dual message you know sometimes Jesus is good sometimes Jesus is bad sometimes love is good sometimes love is bad and instead of distinguishing between that which is bad called love and that which is good called love you simply lump it all together and you create two polarities another point that makes destiny lack credibility to me is the law that one must shave their head in order to be equal the fact that it is a law shows it is of the system there is no physical law that says in order to do what is best for all one must shave their head now it is not a point of altering the body or appearing a certain way because um, you know I shave um, I plug my eyebrows um, things like that you know clip my fingernails if I was to say it was a point of well the physical is growing out the hair so I will accept and allow that I would allow a unibrow I would allow long fingernails I would never shave and I don't do those things so I realize that there's something else 
you know, I was using the physical as an excuse rather than simply facing the point of shaving the head. And the fact that it is a law that I must obey makes me question what other laws are they making up that one must obey? Um, what is the purpose of this law? And in recognition, I accept that your message is to remove polarity, and yet through the building of this law, you are creating polarity. By accepting, allowing, and promoting this law, you are creating polarity. By saying you have to do this, otherwise you are not equal. Then why was I not born that way? Um, and in that, you become what you claim to set out to not be and undo. So if Destiny actually wants to appeal to more than a couple thousand people in a world of seven billion, there is going to have to be some public relations overhaul. And I'm not saying you can't shave your head. I'm saying don't impose your choice on anyone else because that is what this system does. The system chooses to obey and through the mind consciousness system imposes that choice of obedience onto those it is or those who stand as it. And I will not participate in that. If I want to shave my head, I will. If I don't, I won't. If others feel the same, that is what I encourage. And if that is a point of inequality in your group, then your group is a point of inequality. Because the judgment you apply is the judgment applied to you. And if you want to stand as a group and judge as a group, then the judgment will be applied to the group. That is not anything other than natural law. Now, if you actually want to remove polarity, what my suggestion, what my experience suggests is you address things as specific as possible. That way, there is no point that may slip under the radar, that may be quietly accepted and allowed on both sides so that one may support ego or perception and if you're not able to actually point out specifics and you can only lump individuals into generalizations then you're missing the point or you're addressing the system and not actually the individual um, if the individual is to take any form of responsibility you must address the individual one reason why I feel you do not um, have what it takes to actually carry this thing through is you are unwilling to move beyond the system. You know, for some reason it seems it has overtaken your thoughts or overtaken your self-expression so that it, by making it your enemy you have accepted and allowed it to become you because the system destroys and attempts to destroy everything it perceives not to be it so that only it may survive. And that is the point of destiny, is to remove anything that is not destiny so that only destiny may survive. It doesn't matter why or how, just as long as it is. And I will not participate in that. So, people can deal with me um, whether they know my name or not. That is not going to change what I do or what they do if one is being self-honest and self-responsible. If it does, then they are not being self-responsible. They're blaming someone else, and I will not participate in that. So if you actually have something to say and not simply something to repeat. I'm listening. 